yo, obviously you're a hip hop guy. What what are your uh, first of all, what were your thoughts on the Drake Kendrick beef? Um like I, I said this before on something, I was like, I feel like one of the things about like Drake was already already fighting an uphill battle because we see so much of him. He's like overexposed. He's we see so much yeah. of him for the last 15, 15 years. Right. He's always outside, so we always kind of know. Like even if the rumors are true or not true, but there's always something there's, in the air about. There's him. always something yeah. in the air to yeah. kind of those have those implications right. just play <laughs> in, and you know people are going to take things and just run it up anyway. Right. We don't know what implications are about Kendrick. So right then and there, the wave is just like heavily on Kendrick's right. side. And I think just playing into implications is what won Kendrick for my. I just, and, thought, and, and, uh, I just thought strategically he just like. Yeah, timing was everything too. It was ch- like, bro, when, when he dropped Family Matters and then like 45 minutes later, the Meet the Grams came out, I was like, he yep. just sucked the life out of the room. We were in the car driving around Miami. It was me, uh, Shirt King Fade, and um, Flash. And we, we were like, all right, we were just sitting there waiting for our food. And then, like, Drake just dropped Family Matters. And we got in the co- like got, got the food, got in the car, listened to it. And then he was like, yo, did Kendrick just, is this fake? Is this AI? No, Kendrick just dropped, play it. And we were just, we, we sat in front of his house. We were dropping him off. We sat in his front of his house like, for like an hour fuck? and a half, yeah. just listening back and forth. I was driving forth, from LA to Phoenix during the whole thing. And I was just like, this is fucking crazy. I was like, no, he's and talking like earlier everybody. in the day. Kendrick dropped that freestyle where he like kind of warned him, like, "Hey, this is, you got some leaks in your camp. You take it. whatever you're gonna do tonight. Don't do it. It's just a friendly fade. You're taking it here. I'm taking it there. There's something you don't want to do. So crazy, man. I, and I think another thing with Kendrick is like, there's so many quotables. There's oh yeah, so many quotables on just the Euphoria alone. There's Euph- so Euphoria is my favorite record out of all of them because I just thought I thought it was such a methodical. It was a kill shot, but also like a literal warning shot. Yeah. Like, hey man, like this is a friendly fade. Don't tell, don't tell no lies about me, and I won't tell the truth about you. Yeah, like, I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he oh, act tough. So good, man. What so is it? The good. braids. It's like oh, there's so many quotables God. from Kendrick, and because of the way he says it in his voice yeah. and the inflections, it's like it's so it's comedic. But it's also like it hits. Is that, what is it? The braids. It's sharp. Yeah, it's so good, man. The 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 the, the different flows. The like the shout to Kendrick, like, man. He just it's still like his syllable schemes. Are who's just, who's like, your like so top impactful. three or four all time? I MC mean, Hov is one of them for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Like just on like if you want to look numbers and statistics and stuff, Drake has to be up there. Yeah. And influence alone in the past like 15, 20 years, it has to be Kanye for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah and like uh, there's so many more artists that could have had more influence, and from the from like the impact that they made, they. Oh, do. I think Kanye is the most influential artist ever because he kept going. Yeah, because he kept going. And he kept. I mean, he's influenced the world. Yes, more than any artist. I mean, I mean, we're yeah. talking about like fashion. We're talking about like like talking like just, just so walking much. down the street. He like, had motherfuckers walking around with them fucking glasses you couldn't see out of back in the fucking like this, this, the, these the glow things. In the dark I'm like, era, I can't yeah. see. I yeah. hate these. What is going on? But people were wearing them. Like the haircuts, like the yeah. the mohawk mullet for sure, fro things for sure, wearing suits. And yeah. now like people don't even. The people come on stage with full masks. I'm like, I can't even see your face. Now that's the thing. Yeah. You know? That's crazy. Um, all right. So you are facing Christian, uh, but tonight you're facing Kill Switch. Yes, sir. Um, in, a, in a bought HBO sponsored match. Yeah. House of Dragons House sponsored of Dragons. match. I didn't know. I saw the flyer and I wasn't, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah. Because I was like, wait a minute. Is AEW on HBO Max now? Because that'd be nice. Tony Khan. But, figure that out. But it caught your eye. It did. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like if if you get through the Christian thing, the the thing that uh, everybody's going to want to see is you versus MJF. Possibly. That feels like the impending collision that's going to have to happen. Possibly. Uh, it, a, uh, assuming you get to hold on to this, you know, long enough, which I'm assuming you will. But no, I will. But that would be fun. There's a lot of fun matchups going on right now. There's a lot of like, you know what I think, like, I think all these, um, all these matchups are all young, youthful too. True, true. We're all with, we all came up together. Me, right. myself, MJF, Osprey, we're all in the same like kind of age group in the same era. Right. That's why I feel like we moved to a different era, to a new era. Stuff like in, in MJF is a day one guy out of the three of us. 
but he's still with a, in a youthful spot. Yeah. We're still going to have him, Jeff, for like another decade. I thought for sure he was out of there. Uh, I was at Rumble in Tampa, and I was just waiting. I was like, well, at least we got Jade. (laughs) You got Jade. Shout Shout out Jade. Jade. Shout out Jade. Amazing. Good good big homie of mine. She's great. Still doing her thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm always excited to see what she does next, always, no matter what. Um, But, yeah, like our era is like so like these, these three guys are like, all right. These, this, we we gonna eat good for another for sure. For the company's in good hands. Yeah, and we all care. We all care about one another. We all care about the product. We all care about pushing boundaries in our own ways. You know, mine is cinematic. Osprey's is in the ring. MJF is on the microphone. Right. You know, 